Joan and the Witch's Hut. Once upon a time, near a village where the huntsman's horns cries, tally and ghosts pitter-patter on nursery floors, there was a witch who lived in a forest. Each day this witch lurked at the door of her wooden hut, waiting and watching. Her patience was long and her hunger was keen, for she was anticipating when she would catch some unsuspecting child, throw them into her boiling cooking pot and gobble them up. In this village there were six houses, all small holdings owned by the squire on which grazed pigs, sheep, cows and chickens. George and his family lived in one of these houses. In the early hours of the morning he would milk the cows and collect the eggs so that his family had plenty to eat. On one such morning, after the milking and egg collecting, George mounted his push bike to travel to market to sell his wares, with the produce piled high in the front basket. For some reason he decided to take a shortcut through the forest, and as he passed by the witch's wooden hut, he stumbled over some tree roots. Several eggs crashed to the ground. Without hesitation, he continued on his journey, sold his wares in the village square, and returned to tell the tale of the broken eggs to his children that night by the fire. Smut the terrier and little Joan listened eagerly to George's story. They were the best of friends, and wherever Joan went, Smut would follow. Tomorrow, Smut, said Joan as they prepared for bed. Tomorrow we're going to see where those eggs were broken. Sunlight gently glowed upon the treetops and rolling hills as Joan and Smut headed up the forest path next morning, feeling a strange mix of joy and fear. Smut enjoyed sniffing the various interesting smells en route, but he was ready should the witch of the wooden hut suddenly appear. Joan admired the bluebells and the daffodils and rhododendrons, which were all in full bloom. But as they drew near, her footsteps grew light and slow. She moved deftly from tree to tree. Shh, smart, she whispered. We mustn't make a noise.